I'm here with Claire Wilders. She's an absolutely amazing ballet teacher and was a professional ballet dancer for a long time. And we're here in New York and you know we're gonna be drilling noises and dogs and everything <laughs> just to challenge us and just to make fun and be a nice story. So I'd like to tell to know a little bit, to tell them, because I know we've been we've been knowing each other for many years. Uh, tell them a little bit of a, about your story as a dancer and as a professional dancer and where you travel and the people that you work with, you know, just so they can a little touch about who you are. Well, I grew up in Florida, Tampa, Florida, here in the United States. And then I came to New York when I was young, about 18. And I went to the School of American Ballet and joined the New York City Ballet. Later, I, um, the New York City Ballet was with Mr. Balanchine. He was still alive, but then he passed away. So I went to Europe and danced a little bit with Zurich Ballet, Hamburg, up about there. And then I came home to join the American Ballet Theater when Baryshnikov was the director. So now I'm here teaching in New York. Yeah. And we have the building in New York City. It's, it's a like, new building. <laughs> yeah. So that's a so beautiful story. I know in your bucket list, um, Baryshnikov was one of the people that were in your bucket list to work with. Yes. And you did it as you did it so many other people. So your bucket list, it's full of goodies, very good goodies. Uh, would you like to tell us something about that you think this goodies that would be very nice to know? Well, hmm. I wanted to dance at all the big stages of the world. So I danced and went for auditions for the Metropolitan Opera and different places like that and got to dance with in the operas with major opera stars and and now it's wonderful because you get residuals from those little and i know you worked as well with bob posse yes well kind of i didn't know who he was <laughs> but i went to the school of american ballet with his daughter nicole and we were really good friends and i was going to the varna competitions and needed a contemporary piece and she said that her father was a choreographer and that maybe he could do it. And I said, Nicole, you know, I don't want a piece from your father. I need like a real choreographer. <laughs> and she said, no, 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 my dad is a real choreographer. So he came in one day to see me and he set the piece of uh, Pippin, the second act of Pippin. It's a male variation because I jumped very well. So one night he was not at the rehearsal and he sent in this other man and I said, well, where is Mr. Fossey? And he said, well, he's opening big deal on Broadway. I said, what does that mean, opening? What does that mean? And he said, well, he's got a show and he needs to be there. And it's like, well, who are you? And he was Chris Chadman. <laughs> So we rehearsed together yeah. that night while Bob was at the opening of Big Deal. Well, I know. It's kind of sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, you know it that. is. Well, uh, one of the things that I love about your teaching, you've been teaching for 45 years? Yes. That's right? Okay. Yes. So one of the things that I most enjoy is that you really understand all the body and bring to us all the awareness in our body and the little things, the little details. It's so hard to find. But we search so bad to it because you talk about it and you explain how important it is. Yeah. Um, would you like to share one of these little cool details that you learned in your class? Well, I think that the details really do matter. And no matter what level dancer you are, that if you have special details, it makes you look clean and, and, and precise and well-trained. So I'm going to say feet. Feet. articulating the feet so in my class and you know I do a lot of beginning with the articulation of the feet great. yeah and stretching of the toes and not crunching them so you stretch through your whole foot through a story now because I've been training with her for many years the like I used to have no arch in my feet you remember that my relative was so low and now I have like a high relevant and I'm learning of course it's in process 
um, to move my feet better, to yes. use my feet better. And my, actually, I found like more spaces throughout my toes yes. that I use bigger uh, shoes now that I used to. Good for you. Yeah. Wow, that's great. Yeah. That's <laughs> so great. It's really, it's really, uh, I'm really happy with the work that we've done. And I'm, I'm always happy working. to work with you, Anna yeah, Elena. I'm happy too. And just sculpt your body, things that you want to do. And how much it changes just to know how to really use the floor in everything. It's just like a nice, uh, it's the details and the finishing. Yeah, you know? exactly. And also the exactly. Pulema, how you work the torso and how we actually work in the whole core and how you explain it is it's so it's so rich. It's not just an epoema, but it's how you how you get there and how you connect with your leg and with your inner ties and everything. So Well I like to incorporate um, anatomy so that it becomes practical because we all have the same body parts yeah. and it's just how to activate them or how to use them to your best advantage. She does bring the anatomy skeleton <laughs> after in class sometimes <laughs> and I love it. Good, good. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about cross training. Cross training, in the beginning of my class, as you know, we always start with about four or five minutes of cross training. We'll do maybe running in place, We'll do fascia warm-up that loosens up the fascia that surrounds everything. We'll do some planks. In the right position, your plank is the most valuable exercise to hold your body in alignment properly. And you just make sure you're in a really good plank position. We do some push-ups, some stretching, down dogs. I think the cross training today is really the most important thing for dancers because we're all different. We're not cookie cutters of the past. So we need to make your body as strong as it can possibly be inside of you. So you feel confident and you can move with grace. Yeah. And give you like strength and grace, the whole thing. It's all about understanding the body properly, your body, because we are all different. And it's something that I'm really grateful to be learning from you every time. Thank you. You know that. Uh, I was so happy when I found you because it's been a year, um, you know, trying to do a few things that I, uh, it's not quite right, you know, when you can, you try to figure out, it's just not finding it. When I found you, they like, you have to go to Cat. I was like, okay, I'm going to her. And because I was without, I stopped dancing for four years, and I need to get back in my body, and I need to get everything, you know, go again. But also going forward, when I found it was just like, oh my God, it's everything I wanted, you know. So I, I'm, I'm glad. I am a big fan and a big supporter of the knowledge and the body and the body awareness. Well, that brings up a really good point, Annalena. When you've been away from dancing for so long, you need to go back. Yeah. If your heart Amazing. and your soul says you need to dance, you need to go, no matter how long it's been. And it's my heart and soul always say about dancing. And then I'm being uh, this is a short time in New York this time, just for a week. And I basically just took ballet. So every day, just like being my body, you know, being up in my legs. And aligned. And, and aligned. And alignment is a big thing because we Brazilians have big butts. And the balance is, is, is so much different than if you have like a tiny structure. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Everyone has to adjust for their bodies, body type. Yeah. It's amazing. But everyone can do it. It doesn't really have a body type. You can really enjoy your ballet. Now I want to say something else. Uh, I, I was so surprised when I did your first class years ago. I think it was maybe 2012, 2013. I, I, don't, I think 2012. And I remember I had a blind girl that I've seen for so many times. But how you can incorporate like all kinds of people because you have, we had a, at a class at the moment, we had a blind girl you have like little ones, not very little, but like young adults. And then you have professional dancers, you had rockets, a bunch of rockets in your class too. And then we have us, and you also you have like 75 years old people, you know, like you have yes. all age and you can make a class from everybody. So how, 
how do you plan your class? Like, well, I structure a syllabus for the week, and then I tailor it to the feeling of class because everybody needs to work at their own level. So oftentimes, you know, I'll come and whisper things to you that I need to yes. remind you to work on, and yeah. and I get to know my students. And everyone likes being in our community that way. It develops a community that everyone is their own self. The little ones that are in class are usually on Broadway, and they have no other class. They can't take little class. They cannot. Because they're stars on Broadway, so they need to train properly and get their class in. And the Rockettes, when they're off, they need to stay in shape, so, yeah. yeah. And then the older ladies, they need to have a somebody tough that doesn't say, oh, you're old, take it slow. Yeah, and there's something about ballet class, and sometimes teachers take it like so serious that like they only correct if you're good. But like the thing that we appreciate is like actually it doesn't matter if you want to be a professor or not, but just you know be here with us, dance, and do the best you can every yes. time and yes. every day, and find yourself in that. Yes, and the more that you do it, of course, the better that you get an understanding of what it is. And, and how it's done. What I love we did this week, we did a, a progressive combination pirouette. It's oh. simple, you know, but it's, it's so good. Like, you were talking about that, the focus on it. Yeah, it's almost like a meditation to balance up on one leg and be able to turn just a little bit or turn as much as you want or turn a lot. But you have to get the focus in order to do that. And the focus you can use in everything, not only dance. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, I would like to know if you have any special thing that you would like to share with Brazil that you think is there a nice tip for a dancer to have it. Um, I think you should take class four times a week. <laughs> <laughs> no, you really should move your body at least four times a week. Three times is good, but that fourth time pushes you. Yeah. That's the time when you get up in the morning, it's like, I don't want to do this. It's that fourth time. And if you push through it, you get stronger. Yeah. So I'm going to say four times a week. And uh, push what, yourself. I, what I admire about her would be here and then she wakes up and oh my God, but she does it. She wakes up, does like 20 minutes of exercise and abs and push ups and planks and whatever, stretching every day yeah so we always like even when you don't want it we do it most of the time <laughs> you don't want to even on vacation we do it. yeah it's cross training yeah. and you just need to get it done to yeah. keep your body strong so you don't feel like after a great vacation you don't feel like oh I've got to start over again yeah. you don't ever have to start over you can like continue yeah. with something that's great uh, before we go I would like you to tell them if you come to New York City, how they find you. If they are far, if they are in Brazil and not coming, where they will find you. Thank you, <laughs> Annalena. I'm a lot of classes at Perry Dance. I'm also at Pace University. I teach a university course there. So if you want to take dance, I'm in the commercial dance department there at the performing arts. I'm at Gibney which has several locations, but I'm at the 890 location, which is in a building that's um, got a great history of the performing arts. Uh, also, American Ballet Theater is there, and the Elliott Feld Company is there. That's 890 Broadway, right by Le um, Union Square. I'm also at the Harlem School of the Arts. They have a beautiful program. We start an adult program there, and you're welcome to join us anytime. I'm up there every Friday. On Mondays, I'm out in Long Island teaching a syllabus-related class for the children of Long Island at the MOBA Dance Com Academy. Let's see, where else am I? Oh, PMT. Oh, yeah, I was going to say that. I'm at PMT. It's a hip-hop studio, and I've arranged one hour with Pavan. He's the director. And uh, finally, we found an hour. And that's at Pavon's studio at uh, 25th Street in right. New York. That's so. beautiful. So you see, it's a hip hop studio and you take ballet, so cross training, cross dancing, cross everything, Absolutely. and you're gonna work your body to school. And be gorgeous and graceful. And then you can also find Kat in 
her website www.catwildish.com and Instagram and Facebook and why this, yeah, right? Yeah, everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah, you can find her. <laughs> Thank I'm going to add it there too. And if you have any questions, just write a comment. And hopefully, she also teaches all over all over the world. So yes. hopefully, we're going to have a soon a workshop in Brazil. That would be great. Yeah, I love Brazil. Is, I know. And the food. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to see you soon there. Thank you very much. You're welcome. It's so good to have you here. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy it. And follow her on Facebook, Instagram, websites and everything. And if you come to New York, don't miss her class. You're going to regret. Bye. Have a good day. <laughs>